Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Lizzie, and I post pretty much whatever I feel like posting about. Nothing specific, a lot of gardening stuff recently, um, clean with me type situations, um, and vlogs. So if you're interested in that, definitely stay and watch. Right now, I'm outside with my dogs, and they are just running around like crazy, but Hudson caught a scent, so he stopped, so that's good. I wanted to share with you the saga that is my garden. If you've been here before, if you've seen some of my other videos, you will know that I have started a garden about late March and it was beautiful, luscious and full and I had multiple different things growing. I had pumpkin, I had squash, I had herbs and tomato and um, specifically cucumber like my cucumber was doing so well I'll insert a really cheesy photo somewhere um, of me standing with my garden when it was like at its prime currently it is not there I had to rip out all of my cucumbers my tomato was eaten to bits uh, while I was out of town and then I had a crazy infestation of squash bugs of stink bugs and of worms. I have spent days and days and weeks trying to figure out a way to save my garden and I've just come to the conclusion that I had to take my cucumbers out they were so bad I'm working on saving my pumpkin right now I got a couple things at Home Depot today that fingers crossed is gonna really help me so I'm gonna walk you through everything that I got and all of my garden the mosquitoes are about to come out so I want to get this done super fast all right, so it looks like a hot mess. Bear with me, I have been gone and my garden just died. Um, so it definitely, I have weeds growing here that I need to fix up, but um, pretty much this is what the garden looks like at the moment. Kind of tragic, it's okay though. This afternoon, I took out the cucumber. So the cucumber was here. I have my sage growing here. The sage is actually doing really well. And I did look into it, and I should have thought about this earlier, but you know, this is like beginner stuff that I just didn't realize, but come to find out, cucumber doesn't want to be grown next to herbs. And what did I do? I put cilantro right next to it, I put basil right next to it, and then there was sage growing less than a foot away. So it's kind of my fault, but it is what it is. Um, I definitely learned. Over Pumpkin starts all the way back there. The vine comes up and down comes through here at one point this was luscious um, the vine comes out this way and then it also goes out that way there's also a vine that's going that way as well so it's kind of all over the place step over here this is my tomato plant I had gone away for a week and it had been eaten by two what are they called two horn worms or yeah yeah horn worms had come and eaten this all the way down and um, I trimmed it. I went ahead and you can see here, do you see right here? This spot um, is how low it was. That part never recovered. Thank God we're blooming again. Um, and hopefully we'll have some tomatoes growing in soon. I did find a worm on here today. Nothing right now, so that's great. Um, but yeah, this is my tomato. I have basil growing in the back over there. Some cilantro and some beans. Over here, squash. I had pumpkin and squash, and then I have these two squash here. I took out two squash plants and then a pumpkin plant that had just been riddled with um, insects and there was just nothing I can do. This plant is a squash plant. It's not thriving at all. I'm, I, it's just been riddled with insects as well. I'm hoping that they'll survive. This is a squash plant as well. This one is looking a lot better and actually is starting to get um, flower buds again so we'll see what happens with this one that's why I didn't take it out but I definitely took out the plants I had over there over here I have my basil this is suffering pretty bad right now um, I do have spray and stuff for it I have my rosemary which is doing well 
I don't know what this plant is called. I bought it at Home Depot a couple months ago and just loved it. I bought it specifically, it said it'll attract butterflies and stuff like that. And then this is my lavender. My lavender definitely could be doing better. I have definitely been neglecting it, so it still smells amazing. But um, yeah, it's definitely been, oh, there's a spider right here. Can you guys see that spider? Ugh, gross. Um, but yeah, I, I really have so many insects on my plants right now. Um, I did have zinnias in here. The zinnias have... Yes. Yes. What? You want me to kick the ball? Let's go kick the ball. <laughs> Don't mind my yard. It's an actual mess right now. Hudson. Oh, my baby. Hudson, ready? <laughs> Good boy. Uh-oh. Uh oh uh oh uh -oh. <laughs> oh I thought that I would show you guys what I got first, as in like products that I bought, and then I'll go over the plants that I bought. They're really nothing special. The products is like the main thing that I bought today. First thing is neem oil. So I did have the neem oil spray, which I'll show you in a little bit. This neem oil is a concentrate, so this is gonna go a lot farther than the spray that I had. So this neem oil really helped me when it came to aphids. I'll sometimes get like a little burst of aphid, but I've been spraying it with neem oil and it's been totally fine. No infestation there. I have been suffering with some fungus, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this. I've never used this before. I'm gonna try this out. It says it's for mildew, blight, powdery mildew, and black spot. So, fingers crossed, this works on my fungus. The real hero today is this Thermicide BT. It's caterpillar control. I am having such a bad infestation of caterpillars, worms, the silkworms. It's just, it is so bad. And when I say it's so bad, I mean I literally spent three hours today combing over everything and picking one by one caterpillars and worms and it was just ugh, gross i hate i hate doing it i hate killing them i hate putting them on my fingers and squishing them but it's what you have to do so i cleaned out this neem oil container the spray and i went ahead and poured some of this in this is a concentrate so i poured a little bit of this in here filled the rest up with water and i'll be spraying this on all of my plants tonight essentially what this will do is oh, I'm getting eaten up by mosquitoes essentially what this will do is once the worm or caterpillar eats this it causes the caterpillar to stop eating and the caterpillar is no longer allowed to eat so that it's no longer allowed to survive really it's not able to destroy your garden and then it ends up dying of starvation which I personally don't mean to sound disgusting, but I love that because they have wreaked havoc on my garden and I've just been killing them with my hands. So this seems maybe less, uh, I don't know, this seems a little better than killing it with my hands. Plant wise, I've heard that marigolds really, really help with insect repellent. So I got a bunch of marigolds. I also got these things. This is called Blew My Mind. Dwarf Morning Glory. This was $5.48 at Home Depot. It's super cute, super small. It's gonna look beautiful in one of my white containers. And yeah, I just felt like it was worth it. So I got two of these. The other plant that I purchased is called a Dwarf Exora. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it was $14.98 at Home Depot. Um, I thought it was really cute. I thought it was very interesting and different. Um, I don't have any none of this plant has bloomed yet but it has these like spikes on it uh when it blooms it'll bloom in the spikes will bloom into a beautiful flower so i'm excited to see how that's gonna work i'm gonna put this in one of my bigger containers and yeah i'm gonna try and get all of this done before i get completely demolished by uh mosquitoes mosquitoes are really bad so i'm gonna work really hard and i'll catch you guys in a little bit
bright today. I'm outside doing some yard work and I wanted to show you the worm situation, caterpillar situation. Right now I am just looking over all of the leaves that I have. So far I've found two caterpillars, I've already squashed them and then I figured, hey, maybe I can show you guys in case anybody else is experiencing this. So basically what I do is I lift up the leaves and I'm looking behind to find any caterpillars. Nothing on this one, I already checked this one. Let's see, so here's one. So bright, I can barely see the screen, so I don't know. But there is a caterpillar right here. There it is. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just pick it off and just kinda squish it. Um, there's no like real humane way of doing this, um, unfortunately, but they're gonna kill my plants, so I want them off and I want them gone. So here's another. So that's two on the same leaf. I'm gonna pick it up and give it a squish. And here's a third one. And we're just gonna pick it up, give it a little squish. Now, I did spray the stuff on it um, on all the leaves from yesterday that I bought. The what is it called? Barium or something? Um, but that takes a little while for it to set in, so I figure I might as well come out here and do some manual picking. Here's another little baby one. I don't know if you guys can see that. So if you notice, or let me try and point it out, what they're doing is they're curling themselves up in the leaf and then they're spinning a web. So if you see like webbing um, or a curled side of the leaf, then that's a good way of saying, oh, there's probably something there. So this is a good example. The leaf is curled and there's webbing. And if you open up the webbing there, you'll find a cucumber, a cucumber, a caterpillar. So I'm gonna open that leaf up, take it out, manually squish it. So it's so bright, I cannot see the screen at all. I, I have no idea if this is like in focus, but I'm gonna go ahead, work on that, and hang out with my dog for a little bit. It's a beautiful sunny day. spring and what I'm gonna do before I go to sleep tonight is come back out here and do the mildew spray and now it is time to go grocery shopping so exciting right Leo <laughs> Good boy, Hudson. Do you have your Sunday bone? You good boy. No, he's sitting. Let's see. He's looking. He's trying to find something. He doesn't know. He thinks I'm not looking at him. Oh, that cheeky boy. But you know what, this makes him so happy.
I've never met another dog who does this. Like, I've never owned another dog who does this, or... He literally buries his bone, and then he comes back for it later. Hudson just left me his bone. It's right at my feet. Here he comes. He was checking on his hole, making sure it was okay. You're such a good boy. And there he goes. <laughs> But I wanted to um, show you guys what I'm using for a fungicide. I'm pretty sure I showed this yesterday evening. But just one more time, a little bit more in depth. This is a copper fungicide. It is by Captain Jacks. Um, it is for flowers, fruits, and vegetables. Controls against downy mildew, powdery, powdery mildew, black spot, and early blight. So I'm going to go ahead and spray this on everything. It is Monday evening, almost seven o'clock, and I just got home probably 30 minutes ago. I hung out with the dogs outside and checked on my garden, which is doing really great. <laughs> now it's time to cook dinner. I don't even have time to shower first or else we won't be eating. I've been trying to eat the Mediterranean diet slash like lifestyle, Mediterranean lifestyle. Um, I don't do it all the time, but I really try to incorporate it into most of our meals. Hudson is going crazy. Um, but tonight I'm gonna be making a mushroom ravioli. So yeah, let's get into it. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, golden, I'll follow only golden, 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 golden things. Mountain Laurel High Five. Miles in spring, rainbow trout and hummingbird wing. Golden, I'll follow the golden, golden, golden things. Gold hair, gold ring. Tuesday morning now and um, if the camera it looks like it's still pretty foggy it is so cold in my house compared to how humid and muggy it already is and it's just after seven so the lens is super foggy but it's gonna be a scorcher today so I'm out here watering my garden real fast before I leave for work again 
I'm just perpetually living this foggy experience. Okay. <laughs> anyway, hello. It's Thursday now. It's drizzling, so I want to get this done kind of fast. But I am fogging up again because of the temperature change from my house to outside. I like ruined the lens here. But I wanted to show you guys what my garden is looking like. So, again, it's Thursday now. And... Okay, look at all of this new growth. It's honestly doing really well. So, so right here, you can see all of this new growth coming in. And I just wanted to show you the one thing that I've noticed. Let me try and find one that has a decent amount on it. There's signs of aphids so that's something i'm definitely going to need to come out here with my neem oil and take care of that other than that i am really really pleased with this <laughs> guys i really cannot put into words how excited and thrilled i am that these tomato plants have survived i genuinely thought that they were dead i really thought they were done for and i just I can't, I'm so happy. <laughs> um, and I actually have a little baby tomato coming in and my heart is just so full and I'm gonna do everything in my power to make sure that that baby tomato grows up and that we get to eat it with some of this basil and I cannot wait. So yeah, that's that. I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog that I did this week. It's pretty much just me in my garden which is really what my life has just ended up being like at this point. Just me either going to work, being at work, coming home from work, and playing in my garden. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye!